We all love our canine companions and exploring the great outdoors with them. We take them for walks around town, to the park, out hiking. Some of them may even enjoy time out hunting or boating with their families. But today we're going to focus on swimming. Many dogs love it, many dogs hate it, but what about Malinois? Do Malinois like swimming? Welcome back to the Fenrir Malinois Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Malinois. Then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Malinois. So if you're a lifelong Malinois lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Malinois, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Malinois video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see how Malinois feel about getting their feet wet. Swimming is something almost everyone is familiar with, whether or not they own a dog. Being in the water is great exercise and is a great way to cool off on those hot summer days. But people aren't the only ones to enjoy a dip in the pool. Many dog breeds have a love for water and there are a lot of them that were bred to have a predisposition for enjoying a good swim, such as the Newfoundland and the English Setter. Today we're looking at how the noble Malinois feels about swimming. So first we're going to take a look at their origin. The Malinois is one of four types of Belgian Shepherd dogs and as the name suggests, these dogs were originally bred to help herd livestock but they were also bred to help guard the livestock as well and our natural guard dogs due to it. More recently, this well-rounded pooch has made its way into the police and military work. They're extremely intelligent, happy to work and pick up on commands relatively quickly despite being a more independent breed of canine. So you're probably asking yourself, where does swimming fit in in all of this? Well, let's take a look. Malinois are an extremely active breed and will need hours of intensive physical and mental exercise to be happy and healthy. Even the most athletic of people sometimes have trouble keeping up with these active dogs. This is where swimming comes in. The Malinois is an adaptable breed when it comes to working and work conditions. The military even uses them in airdrops due to the fact that they're smaller and lighter than German Shepherds. So it's no surprise to learn that this pooch will be more than brave enough to take a dip on their own and that most Malinois enjoy a good swim. It's a great way to help wear out an extremely active dog and get them in a full body workout. Swimming is literally the best of both worlds for this breed. It'll keep them busy and tire them out. Though you may occasionally have a more timid Malinois that isn't fond of the water, in that case it may be something you have to work on. Not all Malinois are keen for a swim and it's not really in their blood so much as they just enjoy working and have a lot of different things to do. In this case you might try throwing a ball or frisbee into the water for them to retrieve. They may forget that they were anxious as they chase the toy down. But if that's too much, start slow and play on the shore. They may even decide to get a paw wet on their own. But it's always important to go at your dog's pace when exposing them to new things or things they have a fear of. If you force them into it, they'll become more stressed and even more anxious the next time they encounter it due to the bad experience. So slow and steady definitely wins the race and positive reinforcement is the way to go. Lack of exposure, nature and negative association are typically the reason a Malinois may not enjoy a good swim. If they've never been around it, of course it's scary. It's new and their leader will need to teach them that new doesn't mean scary. It can be fun and if confidence is instilled in the dog, they'll generally do fine. The younger this starts, the better because they'll have more time to make positive associations with swimming and being around the water in general. But some dogs are just nervous or don't like the water and that's okay too. It's normal and shouldn't be seen as too much of a concern unless it also translates into a fear of being bathed and groomed. Then it may be time to work on it. Especially because this dog needs to be out a lot, grooming is essential to this breed's care. Though sometimes you'll find a Malinois that just hates the water, either for no reason at all or perhaps due to a traumatic experience. In this case, it's best not to push them towards the water and to find a different working activity. So with the Malinois, they absolutely love the water. This breed wasn't made for water work, but they enjoy work of any kind and even excel in dock diving competitions. Not to mention that swimming has great health benefits. It's great for their overall health as well as being great cardio workouts. 
It'll get their blood pumping and can even help keep their cholesterol in check. You'd think exercise like that would be hard on the joints, but with swimming, that's not the case, which makes it ideal for older man and man or ones suffering from hip dysplasia. It strengthens the muscles and joints, but is lower impact due to the body's buoyancy in the water. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Malinois videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malinois show.